Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how you can install the VMware tools in a Windows 10 virtual machine. So I wanted to show you how you could get that installed in case you don't know how to install it or you're having trouble getting them to install because the option is not available. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Now this will work for Linux or for Windows because I'm doing it with VMware Workstation which will run on both of those computers, Linux and Windows. And then of course the guest operating system is Windows 10 on this computer. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what steps you need to take in order to get the Windows 10 VMware tools installed and working. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do, of course, is on your VMware workstation, you want to have a copy of Windows already installed in a virtual machine. Now, if you haven't done that, that's okay, but you would want to pause right here on the video. You'd want to go download a Windows 10 ISO. Then you'd want to go and create a virtual machine inside of VMware Workstation, and you'd want to go ahead and create that virtual machine and install Windows 10. And then it should come up to a screen that looks very similar to what you see here. Then what you want to do is we're going to install the VMware tools. Now the easiest way is to go up here to the top where it says VM and again this will work on Linux or Windows and then you can click on install VMware tools. But if you will notice mine is grayed out. I can't click on it. Well if for some reason yours is the same way I'm going to show you how to fix that. But if it's not grayed out you would go ahead and click on that and then what would happen is over here on the Windows down in this bottom right corner it would bring up a pop-up and say that a disk has been connected what would you like to do and then you could just click on it and tell it to run the setup and just go through the setup like we're going to do in just a few moments after I download it and I'm going to show you how to do that setup and then it'll work just the same way as the way I'm about to do it but since I cannot install the VMware tools from the menu we're going to go on to the internet and we're going to get the VMware tools and we're going to make it where it'll work with this virtual machine of Windows 10. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and open our web browser. Now you can use any web browser you want. You can use Microsoft Edge which is already on here. If you still happen to be using Internet Explorer you can use that. You can use Chrome, Chromium, Firefox, Opera. You get it. Just any web browser. Whatever you choose is fine. So go ahead and go to, I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge. And then I'm going to go to DuckDuckGo. Now again, you can use any search engine you want as well. You can use Google, you can use Bing, anything you want. I'm going to go to DuckDuckGo.com. And then once it pulls up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search for Download Windows 10 VMware Tools. And I'm just going to press enter, or again, you can click on the little search icon. And then it's going to give you a list of results. Now I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, and the one I want to look for is this index of 45848 tools releases latest windows. Now if you go ahead and you click on that, it's going to bring up a directory window showing you a bunch of folders and files. I think there's three folders and six files. And I know you're probably wondering, well, which of those do I need? I mean, I just need one for this Windows, correct? So, if you are running this on one of the brand new Snapdragon ARM processors that they are putting in Windows computers nowadays, or you're running one of the Apple computers that has M1, M2, or M3, then you would need to download the ARM one that is right here that is labeled VMware Tools Windows ARM 12.4.0-232-59341.iso. That's the one you would download. But for everybody else that still has an x86 or x64 processor, you need to go and download this one up here at the top 
that is just the normal VMware Tools Windows 12.4.0-23259341.iso. That's the one you wanna download. So again, download whichever one is correct for you and it'll put it in your downloads folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one and then it's gonna take it just a moment to download and once it's finished, we're gonna install it. Okay, so mine finished downloading. So whether you downloaded this first one or you downloaded the one that has ARM, it should show up right here that you've downloaded that ISO file. Now I like to go into the folder, so I just click on the little folder right here and then it shows me that ISO file. And then what I do is I right click on it, I go ahead and mount the ISO, and then I click on open. Now here you'll notice there is a setup which is actually 32-bit and there's a setup 64 which of course is the 64-bit. So I think 99% of you that are out there are probably using the 64-bit version. I think a few of you might use the 32-bit and if that's the case you would double click on the setup. But for everybody else that's using the 64-bit you would double click on setup 64. Now an easy way that you can tell is if you have more than four gigabytes of RAM that's on this Windows 10 virtual machine, you're using the 64-bit version. That's the easiest and quickest way. Now if you really wanna make sure, you can go down here to the start, you can go to settings. Once the settings pulls up, you can go to your system and then once you're in system, you can scroll to the bottom on the left side and click about. And then right here, it'll tell you that you are running, I've got four gigs of RAM, but you'll notice it's a 64-bit operating system and an X64 based processor. So everything about mine is 64. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna run the setup 64 but I'm gonna right click on it and run it as administrator. Now I do that just to make sure that it's able to install every driver and it doesn't give me any problems installing. And it will most likely pop up and say, is it okay for the VMware installation launcher to make changes to your device? And I absolutely want it to because I want it to install all the drivers so that it'll work perfectly and it'll have the networking drivers, it'll have the display drivers, the audio drivers, all the drivers that you can think of. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. And then it's going to bring up the setup for the VMware tools. Okay, so if you'll notice the setup is actually down here at the bottom flashing at me. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to click on next to start the setup. And then it wants to know if you want to do a typical, a complete or a custom installation. Now the typical, what this will do is it'll make it work perfectly with this computer. You won't have any problems with the display, the audio, anything when you're using on this computer. If for any reason you think you would take this virtual machine and you might copy it to another computer, it may be beneficial to go ahead and do the complete because then it's going to work if you copy it over to a Windows computer. So that might be helpful to do the complete. Now, there may be some circumstances where you'd want to do a custom, maybe if you don't want certain drivers installed. And those would be very, very specific and unique. I think on very, very rare occasions you'd want to do a custom. I don't think many people would need to do a custom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a typical installation because it's gonna make everything work perfectly with this computer and I don't plan on putting it on a different type of computer. So I'm gonna do typical and I'm gonna click on next. And then all I have to do is just click install. So that'll take just a few moments and of course I'll speed it up for you and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so as you can notice towards the end of the installation of the VMware tools, it also fixed the display. And so now that Windows 10 is taking up the whole window that it is able to instead of just being a small portion of the window that it was earlier.
So now, the last thing you have to do in order to finish the VMware Tools installation is just click on Finish, and then it wants to restart your computer. So we're going to go ahead and click Yes so that it can restart the Windows 10 and it can load all of those drivers so that it will work perfectly and you won't have any problems with trying to get sound to work, trying to get networking to work, trying to do a shared folder between the Linux and the Windows or Windows and Windows, whichever one you happen to be using, because remember VMware Workstation works on both, and it'll let you do those shared folders. So now you can copy files between the two or just share them between the two. You don't even have to copy it from one to the other. You can just share it. And so a file that you've saved on your Windows computer, you can now see in your virtual machine of Windows and you can make changes to it. All right, so the Windows 10 finished restarting and I went ahead and logged in so that you could see that the desktop is up and running. And so if I'll go down here to the bottom right corner and click on the little arrow, there you can see the VMware Tools is running. So that is going to allow for the screen, the audio, all the printers, the networking, everything that you could think of that would need to have communication with the main operating system, whether it's Linux or Windows, it'll let that guest operating system of Windows 10 communicate with Linux or Windows. So I hope that was helpful on how to get the VMware tools installed on your Windows 10 in case you're having any problems getting it to install or maybe you just needed help getting it installed so that you can make it where the printers, the networking, the screen, the audio, all that stuff would work perfectly inside your Windows 10 virtual machine. If you do have any questions about this procedure or any other questions, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And if there's a video that you'd like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I'll do my best to create that for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I install my VMware tools inside of Windows 10? And I'll be glad to keep putting up more great content like this and other things for you. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.